When the Nexus 5 was launched alongside Android 4.4, it boasted a lot of features. But one of the noteworthy features was the new art virtual machine. Hey, what is up guys? This is Seth and in this video, I'll be talking to you about art. Not this art. A huge advantage of the devices powered by the Android operating system is the use of virtual machines. Uh, Android has been using the Dalvik virtual machine for quite some time now, but it is now pushing for the Art virtual machine, which is still in beta. Uh, so what is a virtual machine? How does it Art compete with a Dalvik? Consider this. You have a Mac running the OS X. Uh, you got a couple of new programs that you would want to run, but that does not work on your operating system. So you could load a virtual machine and then install the uh, Windows operating system. This virtual machine emulates all the hardware necessary to uh, install and run the system. That is, it allows you to uh, run a Windows environment on your Mac and all the components, the viruses, the app crashes, etc. are nowhere related to your original operating system. So similarly in Android, the virtual machine is used to compile and run your app. So once an app that has been written by the developer, it is usually uncompiled. Uh, this this uncompiled code is uh, slower than the compiled code. But your virtual machine makes sure that the code need, does not need to be compiled by the developers to run on some other CPU. What is Art and how is it different from Dalvik? In Dalvik, when you install an app, it uses the Dalvik virtual machine to compile and run your app. It uses a concept called JIT, namely just in time. Uh, it is a great concept, but it has its flaw when you first launch an app. Consider this scenario. When you have downloaded an app, it just sits there in the memory until you launch it. When you do, uh, the Android pulls in all the uncompiled data together, compiles it and then loads it into the RAM. As long as it is in the RAM, it works perfectly well. Now when you close an app, it is clean from the RAM and when you reopen the app again, the whole process needs to be repeated. This uh, considerably increases your launch time. Whereas in art, it uses a concept called AOT, namely ahead of time. In art, when you download and install an app, it pre-compiles it. This takes much space, uh, I mean, this takes more space in the memory as well as uh, it takes longer time to install. However, the app launches faster while using the art compiler than while using the Dalvik compiler. In conclusion, both the uh, virtual machines has its own pros and cons. But uh, I think after years of service of the Dalvik, it is art is a step in the right direction towards a new kind of compiler. So let us wait and watch if it is successful or not. So this is it guys. Uh, like my video if, you, if this was helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time. Ciao.